What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, so happy to be here teaching you guys a lesson. Uh, just a classic, one of my favorites. Really fun progression. I'm um, in drop D tuning. And then it just uses the basic, you know, power rock chord. So this is great for just power rock. But then um, there's also little, you know, little finger tricks in there too. So I think it'll be helpful. Um, also, I've got some signature style licks that are in the link below this box. You can click there and I will send you some superstar licks that you can use right over this progression. And I think you'll have a lot of fun doing it. But anyway, enough of that. We'll zoom in and we'll play this one right now. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just break down the basic chord progression. Cause if you're a beginner, you could play right through it. But then after that, I'm gonna add the little, you know, all the little finger tricks. So first, we're just gonna start with uh, the basic so it's just a D and then you cha changes to an A now it's you know there's a lot of gain and distortion on on the original so I'm kind of playing a power chord oh and also I'm in drop D but so kind of what, what you do with that is uh, you know, like for instance, when you're playing this D chord, I'm kind of, I'm just muting that high E. And then on this A chord, I'm focused on the open A, the D string and the G string. The B's muted, the high E's muted. You know, easy chord. Okay, and then you need those, and then you need a G chord, which is the only kind of weird one because of the drop D tuning. But the easiest G is just the uh, fifth fret on these top two strings. And then if you wanted to play, you can do that as well, where you're playing the fifth fret here, fifth fret here, and then the third fret on the high E. And that's another way to play G, but with lots of distortion, Okay, so here's the basic form of the verse. I, I was D to D to D And rocking on that D Strumming that D Till I went to A think of it as just uh, it's got a few different names because it's kind of like one of these traveling finger walk down things so you like that technical jargon there so we got a D chord middle finger you know all the fingers come off except the ring finger still on that third fret of the B and my middle finger goes to the third fret of that A string so it's like D third fret second fret the index finger and then a little bendy bend on the third fret of the low string. Check it out. So. So the chorus. D over that, then that, then that. is D to the A, but we're 
we're going to go uh, third fret, second fret, then the A chord. Just watch it from the chorus. D, this one, and this one. playing G this way, just covering these top two strings, playing like a rock power chord, you know? Then you can go, you know, you can, anytime you go to a D, you can pull off on that third there, or even the full double bow strings. Okay, so here's the chorus again. D. Just a little turnaround on back to the G. So watch. Um. I bet that the girls you make the rocking world go round. G. I bet the girls you make the rocking world go round. So let's do it from the top with that verse. Here we go. The verse. Get that D ready. I was D to D to D. And I D to D all night. like a uh, country kind of progression. You know, they're definitely in that beat, too. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's, the, it's like their queen version of a country song, basically. Just awesome. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you that intro, and it starts on a power chord on the fifth fret here, then the third fret, then open into a D. And there's just like a little slide in note. You can take that D chord and slide that index finger from the first to the second while you're holding the chord. So that's a little trick there that's happening. So here it is. So there's a little walk down thing and it's three, two, oh on the A string, three, two, oh, then third on the low, it's a D now instead of the E string, because we tuned it down to drop D, so you got three, two, oh, boom, D, so check it out from the top. So then that that verse starts, and you've got so it does that thing again during the singing. I was D to D to D. So where it would happen again instead of it does three two O, then the A power chord. So I was D to D to D, super D to D to D. Pretty much every time it goes to D, you've got this kind of pull off thing. D, then up to G, pull off thing again. D, 
then a pull off on that third when it goes to A. And then the pull on that for the D. Check it out from the top, from the intro. So that's the vibe on the verse with the little tricks. Then on the chorus, I actually already showed it to you because it's kind of part, has to be part of the chorus, but let's do that again. We've got. time on the chorus and I'm going to do it slow for you. So we got... when I try and do it slow. Anyway, sorry about that. Hopefully you got it up to that point though. So there's just a little turnaround in between the verses and, and we have to play G which you could do that power chord still, but what I'm doing is I'm doing the double and then the index on the third of the high E there. I'm going, you know, G, G, D, D, A, A, D. G, G, D, D, A, A, G. Yeah. fun rocking. Uh, remember, I've got those licks, those extra licks. I think you really want to check them out in that link down there below this box. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to see you in another video again, and I can't wait. See you later.